I couldn't possibly begin without asking you all to please arrange your chairs in a circle around me. If you could please arrange your chairs in a circle around me if I go in the middle there. I'm sorry, if you, um, I'll come in the middle here. And if I couldn't possibly begin without asking this again. Yeah. I couldn't possibly ask you all to please arrange your chairs in a circle without beginning. And that, obviously I couldn't possibly begin without asking you all to please arrange your chairs in a circle around me. I couldn't possibly begin without first asking. I, I couldn't possibly begin without first thanking Holly for inviting me to speak tonight. I couldn't possibly mention Holly without mentioning Steph, who's filming here. Um, I couldn't possibly mention Steph without mentioning um, you. What's your name? Bye. Mo. I couldn't possibly mention Mo without mentioning Alexandra. Alexandra. I couldn't possibly mention like Alexandra without mentioning Borash. Borash. Close. <laughs> I couldn't possibly mention Borash without mentioning Anna. Um, I couldn't possibly mention Anna without mentioning. I forgot your name. Sorry. Althea. Althea. I couldn't possibly mention Althea without mentioning Andy. <laughs> I possibly mention Andy without mentioning, we haven't met, sorry, that's weird, isn't it? Um, what's your name? Zach. Jack. Jack. I couldn't possibly mention Jack without mentioning... Dina. Dina. I couldn't possibly mention Dina without mentioning... Yeah. Jelly. I couldn't possibly mention Jelly without mentioning... I couldn't possibly mention Elizabeth without mentioning Eileen. I couldn't possibly mention Eileen without mentioning Louise. I couldn't possibly mention Louise without mentioning Gavin. I couldn't possibly mention Gavin without mentioning Kristen. I couldn't possibly mention Kristen without mentioning James. I can possibly mention James without mentioning Emily. I can possibly mention Emily without mentioning Megan. I can possibly mention Megan without mentioning Michael. I can possibly mention Michael without mentioning Marcus. I can possibly mention Marcus without mentioning Laura. I can possibly mention Laura without mentioning John. <laughs> I can possibly mention John without mentioning. Poppy, I couldn't possibly mention Poppy without mentioning. Maria. I couldn't possibly mention Mariella without mentioning. Harriet, I couldn't possibly mention Harriet without mentioning. Pedro. I couldn't possibly mention Pedro without mentioning. Yeah. Sophia, I couldn't possibly mention Sophia without mentioning. Simon, Simon I couldn't possibly mention Simon without mentioning. Stephen, I couldn't possibly mention Stephen without mentioning. Jess, Jess I couldn't possibly mention Jess without mentioning. Fiona, I couldn't possibly mention Fiona without mentioning. Lenart. Lenart. I couldn't possibly mention Lenart without mentioning. Wana. I couldn't possibly mention Wana without mentioning. I couldn't possibly mention Elena without mentioning. Sarah. Sarah. I couldn't possibly mention Sarah without mentioning. Patricia. I couldn't possibly mention Patricia without mentioning. Sarah. I couldn't possibly mention Sarah without mentioning. Valentina. I couldn't possibly mention Valentina without mentioning. Claire. I couldn't possibly mention Claire without mentioning. Calvin. I couldn't possibly mention Calvin without mentioning. Lily. Lily. I couldn't possibly mention Lily without mentioning. I couldn't possibly mention Kate without mentioning. Rachel. I couldn't possibly mention Rachel without mentioning. Lucy, I couldn't possibly mention Lucy without mentioning. Jacqueline. 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 I couldn't possibly mention Jacqueline without mentioning Antonia. I couldn't possibly mention Antonia without mentioning. I know. <laughs> Helena. I couldn't possibly mention Helena without mentioning. April. April, I couldn't possibly mention April without mentioning. Madeline. I couldn't possibly mention Madeline without mentioning. Jane. James, I couldn't possibly mention James without mentioning Daniel. I couldn't possibly mention Daniel without mentioning Jane. Jane, I couldn't possibly mention Jane without mentioning Emma. I couldn't possibly mention Emma without mentioning Ben. I couldn't possibly mention Ben without mentioning Camilla. I couldn't possibly mention Camilla without mentioning... Did you say your name? No. Karen, I couldn't possibly mention Karen <laughs> without mentioning Faye. I can possibly mention Faye without mentioning Janet. 
Shy. Shy. I can possibly mention shy without mentioning. <laughs> Why not? Hmm? Why not? Right. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why could you possibly not? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to that. <laughs> I couldn't possibly mention why not without mentioning Zoe. Zoe, I couldn't possibly mention Zoe without mentioning Mariana. Mariana. Marianne. Marianne. I couldn't possibly mention Marianne without thanking Holly again for inviting me to speak tonight. I couldn't possibly thank Holly again for inviting me to speak tonight without explaining why she invited me to speak tonight. I couldn't possibly explain why Holly invited me to speak tonight without talking about the Sazen Poetry Library. I couldn't possibly talk about the Sazen Poetry Library without mentioning the term applied to much of the Sazen Poetry Library's collection. I couldn't possibly talk about the term applied to much of the Sazen Poetry Library's connection without mentioning my ongoing project, Only Reference, which is a reversal of the term applied to much of the Sazen Poetry Library's connection. I couldn't possibly talk about only reference without mentioning the reference to the book Howard's End. I couldn't possibly mention the reference to the book Howard's End without pointing out that only reference is an expanded reference manual for the Sazen Poetry Library. I couldn't possibly mention an expanded reference manual without talking about record cards. I couldn't possibly talk about record cards without mentioning Philip Larkin's membership card, which I found in the rare book section of the Sazen Poetry Library. I couldn't possibly mention Philip Larkin's membership card without mentioning that it has the word deceased written in the top left-hand corner in pencil. I couldn't possibly mention the word deceased without mentioning that the word expiry follows the words banks card at the bottom of Philip Larkin's membership card in dark blue ink under the typewritten heading identification produced in black ink. I couldn't possibly mention the words deceased and expiry without first mentioning those black and white newspaper advertisements comprised of centre aligned text in a simple typeface known as tombstones. I couldn't possibly mention tombstones without mentioning that Larkin was buried at the Cottingham Municipal Cemetery near Hull. I couldn't possibly mention the word mentioning without mentioning membership cards again. I couldn't possibly mention membership cards again without mentioning that Philip Larkin's membership card for the Saison Poetry Library states his address as the Brynmore Jones Library, the University where Larkin served as librarian for 30 years, from 1955 until his death in 1985. I couldn't possibly mention the Bryn Mawr Jones Library, the University Hall, without mentioning Sir Bryn Mawr Jones, who initiated research in the field of liquid crystals at Hull and was the vice chancellor of the university from 1956 to 1972. I couldn't possibly mention Bryn Mawr Jones without mentioning that Larkin collapsed at a Bryn Mawr Jones Library committee meeting at Hull University on the 6th of March, 1961. I couldn't possibly mention that Larkin collapsed at a Bryn Mawr Jones Library committee meeting at Hull University on the 6th of March 1961 without mentioning that he was referred to the neurologist Sir Russell Brain at the Royal London <laughs> Hospital just down the road in Whitechapel. I couldn't possibly mention Sir Russell Brain without mentioning nominative determinism. I couldn't possibly mention nominative determinism without reading some extracts from Mark Abraham's article on Sir Russell Brain and Henry Head in the Guardian's Improbable Research section. Henry Head, 150 years old, is celebrated in the journal Brain. Research shows that Russell Brain admired Henry Head in Brain the Journal. <laughs> Nowadays, not many people read brain on head in brain. <laughs> that could change because this year is the 50th anniversary of the publication of Russell Brain's mostly admiring six-page essay called Henry Head, A Man and His Ideas, which celebrated the 100th anniversary of Dr. Head's birth. Head headed Brain from 1905-1923. Brain became Head in 1954, dying in office in 1967. No other editors in the journal's long history could or did boast surnames that so stunningly announced their obsession, profession and place of employ. In 1904, at the age of 42, Head married a headmistress, Ruth Mayhew of Brighton High School for Girls. Brain assures us that she was quote, a fit companion for him in intelligence. <laughs> <laughs>
I couldn't possibly read those extracts from the Guardian's improbable research section without mentioning modes of aberrant research, which is the title of tonight's event, which I had to look up and was pleased to discover that aberrant doesn't mean abhorrent. I couldn't possibly mention the title of tonight's event without also mentioning the room we are in now. I couldn't possibly mention the room we are in now without also mentioning that it is above the former Passmore Edwards Library, which was acquired by the Whitechapel Gallery in 2009. I couldn't possibly mention the former Passmore Edwards Library without mentioning the first day I moved to London in 2002 when I stayed at a friend's house just down the road in Whitechapel. I couldn't possibly mention the first day I moved to London in 2002 when I stayed at a friend's house just down the road in Whitechapel without mentioning that I also visited the Passmore Edwards Library and the Whitechapel Gallery that very day for the first time. I couldn't possibly mention visiting the Whitechapel Gallery for the first time without also mentioning that I thought to myself what a nice place it would be to work and asked at the front desk whether they were hiring. <laughs> I couldn't possibly mention asking at the front desk of the Whitechapel Gallery whether they were hiring without mentioning that I got a job here in 2006 following an interview with a man whose first name was also Patrick. <laughs> I couldn't possibly mention that I was interviewed for a job at the Whitechapel Gallery by a man named Patrick without also mentioning that his surname begins with L. I couldn't possibly mention a man whose initials are PL without mentioning that the code on my own membership card for the Saison Poetry Library is PL006889. I couldn't possibly mention that the codes on the Saison Poetry Library membership cards begin with PL without mentioning that while under the care of Sir Russell Brain at the Royal Free Hospital in Whitechapel just down the road, Philip Larkin met a young Chinese doctor who, in a letter to Maeve Brennan dated the 10th of April 1961, Larkin referred to as Miss Yen. I couldn't possibly mention Miss Yen, who worked in the hospital down the road, without saying that following a miserable childhood, dreaming about going to an English university, her father insisted that she study at medical school to become a doctor, and thus found herself, at the age of 22, treating Larkin at the Royal Free Hospital in Whitechapel, down the road, where she declined his invitation to have dinner with him, as it seems that Larkin, quite contrary to his reputation for xenophobia, had developed an attraction to Miss Yen who went on to become international best-selling author Adeline Yen Ma, who recalled her encounter with Larkin in her memoir, Watching the Tree. I couldn't possibly mention Larkin's treatment at the Royal Free Hospital in Whitechapel down the road in 1961 without stating that he collapsed again on the 28th of November 1985 and was readmitted to hospital and died four days later on the 2nd of December at the age of 63. I couldn't possibly mention that Larkin was readmitted to hospital in 1985 without explaining that this time it was the Nuffield Hospital on Westbourne Avenue in Hull, which is the street I lived on from birth in 1983 until I moved to London at the age of 19. When I stayed at a friend's house just down the road in Whitechapel and visited the Passmore Edwards Library and the Whitechapel Gallery that day for the first time, and I ended up getting a job here in 19, 2006 following an interview with a man whose first name was also Patrick, I couldn't possibly mention getting a job without mentioning Larkin's poem, Toads, which begged the question, why should I let the toad work squat on my life? I couldn't possibly mention Larkin's toads without mentioning the 40 decorated fiberglass toad sculptures entitled Larkin with Toads, which were displayed across the city of Hull in 2010 as a tribute to the poem, including a representation of Larkin as a toad, <laughs> positioned in the Princess Key shopping centre. I couldn't possibly mention Larkin with toads without wondering whether Larkin's attitude refers to working in a library or working as a poet, or both. I couldn't possibly mention the word wondering without inserting a few excerpts from my notes about libraries and their contents within the sections where I use the structure I couldn't possibly X without Y. Your mind wanders in the library, that is what it is for. I mean the library is a place for your mind to wander rather than that your mind is for wandering, but it is for that too. Your mind wanders now because you are in a library, you may think you are not in one now, but you are, or rather you used to be, or rather the place you are in now used to be a library, or rather the place you are sitting in now used to be above the public section of a library. I wandered in here the first day I moved to London, got to the house in Whitechapel just down the road and sat down and thought and talked to myself, opened up the A to Z. There were no iPhones in those days. And in the morning I looked out the window, over all the rooftops, and wandered into the Whitechapel Gallery. Then I wandered into the Passmore Edwards Library next door, the building we're in now, and walked upstairs to the reading room, which used to look like this. Archival reading room photo. <laughs> 
I couldn't possibly mention the archival reading room photo without mentioning that at this point I considered showing you a photo of the reading room downstairs next to Gallery 4 as it used to look when it was a library. I couldn't possibly mention the photo of the reading room downstairs without mentioning the photo of the creative studio before its refurbishment. I couldn't possibly mention the photo of the creative studio that we're sitting in now before its refurbishment without mentioning that it was taken by Patrick Lears, the gallery manager. I couldn't possibly mention Patrick Lears again without mentioning that my interview for the job took place in the former reading room of the original Whitechapel Gallery opposite the former cafe designed by Liam Gillick. I couldn't possibly mention my job at the original Whitechapel Gallery without mentioning that once the gallery had fully refurbished the library, I was offered a slightly different job as a duty manager and visitor services assistant. I couldn't possibly mention my slightly different job as a duty manager and visitor services assistant without mentioning that on the 16th of January 2010, I was asked to arrange the chairs in this room in a circle for an event, and I took several photos of the chairs to check that the circle was perfect. I couldn't possibly mention taking several photos of the chairs in this room to check that the circle was perfect without mentioning that I considered showing you one of the photos of the chairs tonight. I couldn't possibly mention considering showing you one of the photos of the chairs tonight without mentioning that I decided not to. I couldn't possibly mention deciding not to show you a photo without talking about proof. I couldn't possibly talk about proof without talking about all the other things I considered showing you tonight and subsequently decided not to. I couldn't possibly talk about all the other things I considered showing you tonight without mentioning what they were. I couldn't possibly mention what they are without mentioning Philip Larkin's membership card, my membership card, an archival photo of the reading room, a photo taken on the 16th of January 2010 of some chairs in a circle in this room, a big circular green vinyl sign that was displayed in my exhibition at the Saison Poetry Library, a printout of the aberrant research event page on the Whitechapel Gallery website, a photo of a display label from the Whitechapel Gallery containing a spelling error. I couldn't possibly list Philip Larkin's membership card, my membership card, an archival photo of the reading room, a photo taken on the 16th of January 2010 of some chairs in a circle in this room, a big circular green vinyl sign that was displayed in my exhibition at the Central Poetry Library, a printout of the Aberdeen Research event page on the Whitechapel Gallery website, a photo of a display label from the Whitechapel Gallery containing a spelling error without mentioning the idea of showing them as a fast-paced, 18-minute long digital slideshow in alphabetical order. I couldn't possibly mention showing them as a fast-paced 18-minute long digital slideshow in an alphabetical order without mentioning that while I am uncomfortable about the depersonalizing and barrier-like nature of the script, I am more uncomfortable about the slickness of talking like Ted. <laughs> My mind wanders in the library tonight. I plan to deliver an updated version of a performance I did at the Saving Poetry Library earlier this year, resulting from the extensive research I conducted in the Rare Books section. But as above mentioned, my mind wandered. I couldn't possibly mention these possible methods of presentation without mentioning the idea of passing around in a circle all the things I considered showing you tonight. I couldn't possibly mention the idea of passing around in a circle all the things I considered showing you tonight without mentioning the idea that the chairs would also be circling the big circular green final sign that was displayed in the exhibition at the Saison Poetry Library. I couldn't possibly mention the big circular green final sign that was displayed in the exhibition at the Saison Poetry Library without mentioning the wording on the big circular green final sign, which I think had a misplaced apostrophe at the end of the phrase, rare books. I couldn't possibly mention the wording on the big circular green vinyl sign, which I think had a misplaced apostrophe at the end of the phrase, rare books, without mentioning that I am not wholly confident about the placement of apostrophes. I couldn't apostrophe always possibly's without mentioning that I am not wholly confident about the placement of apostrophes. I couldn't possibly mention that I am not wholly confident about the placement of apostrophes without mentioning that I am confident that there is at least one grammatical error in the blurb describing my performance tonight at the Whitechapel Gallery of Wednesday. <laughs> I couldn't possibly mention the grammatical error in the blurb describing my performance tonight at the Whitechapel Gallery website without mentioning a spelling error I spotted in the display label referring to a graphite wall text by Sophie Cal in her exhibition at the Whitechapel Gallery in 2009. I couldn't possibly mention the spelling error I spotted in a display label referring to a graphite wall text by Sophie Cal without mentioning that I made a large version of the display label at the same size as the original graphite wall text. I couldn't possibly mention that I made a large version of the display label at the same size as the original graphite wall text without talking about being self Absorbed. I couldn't possibly talk about being self-absorbed without mentioning a sculpture I made in 2011 of a garden worm ornament eating its own tail. I couldn't possibly mention the sculpture I made in 2011 of a garden worm ornament eating its own tail.
its own tail, without mentioning the performance I made to accompany it, in which I referred to persons here present, including Holly Pester and Stephen Fowler, who were also present tonight. I couldn't possibly mention the performance I made to accompany the sculpture I made in 2011 of a garden where monument eating its own tail, in which I referred to persons here present, including Holly Pester and Stephen Fowler, who were also present tonight, without mentioning that Stephen Fowler was not actually present for the performance, although I said his name anyway. I couldn't possibly mention that his name anyway without mentioning Kristen Creeder and James O'Leary, Steph Hirsch, Eileen Daly, Daniel Rock, etc. A mind wanders into a library and without the allocated one hour time slot finds an essay online called The Utility of Mind Wandering. The mind did not wander into the library with any particular course of research in mind because it knows that it cannot have a plan when it is, by definition, seeking a way. For the open problems we often encounter in life, there is no map. The mind sits and reads and concentrates for a considerable time. The mind learns and grows and makes revolutionary discoveries. I couldn't possibly mention the ending, a crescendo, without repeating the XY formula. I couldn't possibly repeat the XY formula without mentioning Y in the phrase, I couldn't possibly X without Y. I couldn't possibly eggs without yolks. I couldn't possibly connect yolks to the without mentioning ye. I couldn't possibly mention ye without mentioning the end. I couldn't possibly mention the end without mentioning the crescendo. I couldn't possibly mention a crescendo without mentioning an endoskeleton. I couldn't possibly mention mentioning without mentioning mention. I couldn't possibly mention mention without mentioning the ubermensch. I couldn't possibly mention the ubermensch without mentioning the Nazis. I couldn't possibly mention the Nazis without mentioning Godwin's law, which asserts that as an online discussion grows longer, the probability of a comparison involving the Nazis or Hitler approach is one. I couldn't possibly mention Godwin's law without mentioning the tradition in many news groups and other internet discussion forums that once such a comparison is made, the thread is finished, and whoever mentioned the Nazis has automatically lost whatever debate was in progress. I couldn't possibly say that the thread is finished without finishing the thread. I couldn't possibly finish on a thread finishing theme without it being a false ending. I couldn't possibly mention a false ending without mentioning the song Everything I Do, I Do It For You by Brian Adams. Because the original song was six and a half minutes long, the false ending became the end of the single and video version of the song while the album version had a fade out ending. I couldn't possibly mention the album version having a fade out ending without trying to do the same thing with this reading. I couldn't possibly mention doing the same thing with this reading without some technical help. I couldn't possibly mention technical help without mentioning Calvin the sound technician. I couldn't possibly mention Calvin the sound technician without slightly turning down the sound on my lapel mic and sitting down. I couldn't possibly mention slightly turning down the sound on my lapel mic and sitting down without also mentioning that I am not a librarian. I couldn't possibly mention that I am not a librarian without also mentioning that I am bad at filling. I couldn't possibly mention that I am bad at filling without correcting myself that I am bad at filing. I couldn't possibly mention that I'm bad at filing without mentioning the layers of an onion. I couldn't possibly mention an onion without mentioning the honey. I couldn't possibly mention the honey without mentioning the onion. I couldn't possibly mention the onion and the honey without mentioning the honey and the onion. I couldn't possibly mention the honey and the onion without repeating the honey and the onion, the honey and the onion, without mentioning the munching of the honey and the onion, the mention of I couldn't, the mention about mentioning, the mentioning, the unmentionable, the eggs. I couldn't possibly 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 the eggs. 